Hey everyone, I'm Estela Casas. Thanks for choosing Nine News Now. If you're on social media, you probably know about a music event coming to El Paso. A video on Instagram has El Pasoans questioning a music festival that apparently has neo-Nazi ties. In a story you'll see only on KTSM, our KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Drexler talked with a local man who says this type of event should not be given a platform here in El Paso. She joins us from South Central El Paso where this music festival is going to be held. Hey there, Estella. Well, uh, this music festival called uh, Autumn Equinox Celebration was supposed to be happening here in South Central El Paso at the Dungeon. That's this venue that you see right behind me. But since our five o'clock newscast, I was actually able to get in touch with the owner of this venue, and he tells me that his venue is not operational anymore. But uh, the El Pasoan in question, uh, Andrew Martinez, who I got to speak to, he's still concerned that this event will be taking place despite that. A music festival that was hard to find online. Organized by Ancient Rights Through Native Pride organization from Los Angeles to be held at the Dungeon in South Central El Paso. Has El Paso and Andrew Esparza concern regarding its alleged neo-Nazi ties? It goes beyond just like making music. It, it is practiced. And I think congregating in these spaces here in El Paso presents like a real legitimate danger to the community. I looked up some of the bands on the list, most belonging to the death metal scene, some bands having songs using fascist verbiage. We've seen that before. We've seen far right ideologies like come into the community and they've devastated it. And one local musician says he performed at the dungeon, the local venue where the event is supposed to take place, along with Martinez, they don't want there to be a platform for hateful ideologies in El Paso. Through the events of uh, 2019 and with all the things going on on the border, a lot of eyes are focused on us right now. So it's kind of become a hot spot for ideas as it's growing. But the owner of the dungeon tells me his venue is not operational anymore and that the event will not be held there. I know some of the guys from from um, California and they, that approached me, asked me if it, we could hold their event here. And I said, yeah, just like anybody else. As anybody. also an owner of a record label, he says he gives a platform to everyone. I don't believe in censoring art or music, so I allow anybody, it's like it doesn't affect me. But like I said, there was, I never saw any signs of um, white supremacy or anything like that with the show. Martinez believes the event has since changed venues. I don't feel safe with this happening. I don't know what to do but I want to do something to ensure that there's no safe space for far-right extremist ideologies in El Paso. Now, I'm still working to get in touch with the actual organizers of this event that took place uh, at other places across the U.S. as well, and I will make sure to update you as far as what is actually happening with this event and mm -hmm. whether if it's going to be held here in El Paso. Back to you, Estelle. Okay, we'll see on this story. Thank you so much for that.